Hey guys, I'm back from Book Expo America, which means I have a butt ton of books to show you guys. I was actually pretty selective this year at Book Expo America, which I'm pretty proud of myself for because it's so easy just to grab every book you see at Book Expo America, but I held myself back. I only picked up books that I'm super interested in. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's talk about the books that I picked up at Book Expo America. I am actually going to start off by showing you two books that I got before Book Expo America. The first one is one that I've talked about a lot on my channel already, and that is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. I'm super pumped about this book. I haven't gotten the chance to finish it yet, but I'm two chapters in, and I'm already completely sold on this story, and I'm super excited to get farther into it. But I decided to pick myself up a finished copy of this book because it is a beautiful. Also, can we talk about this spine, though? Look at it. It's shiny, and it's gold, and it's glorious. There's also a crown on the front cover. Yes! I am living for this book. I got the chance to interview Evelyn Skye at Y'all West, so I will leave a link down below to that video. It also kind of gives you more insight as to what this book is all about. Next up is The Marked Girl by Lindsay Klingel. I got an arc of this book. This book comes out on June 7th. And instead of telling you what this book is about, I'm actually going to leave a link down below to the book trailer for this book because I was in the book trailer and Kat was in the book trailer and Christine was also in the book trailer and it was awesome. Now here's the deal. I often harp on how cheesy book trailers are, and that's because most of the time they are pretty cheesy. But it was an interesting experience being a part of a book trailer and seeing all the work that goes into it. So I do now kind of have a newfound respect for people who make book trailers but I still think they're cheesy most of the time. But either way, I will leave a link down below to this book trailer. Okay, now for the BEA books. I'm gonna start with publication order and go that way just because I think that that will be super helpful if any of you guys are interested in these books. First up I have here is the Hollow City graphic novel, story by Ransom Riggs, art by Cassandra Jean, and this book comes out on July 12th. I feel like a lot of people forget that this is a thing that's happening, but it's happening. There's also a graphic novel for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, but there's one coming out for Hollow City in July and I'm super pumped about it. This is actually only just a sampler but I'm still super excited to have this as a part of my collection. I love Cassandra Jean's art. She does a lot of Shadowhunter art online and I love all the artwork that she produces so super pumped about this. Next up I got Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. This is one of my most anticipated releases of this year so I'm super happy to have this book. It's also signed by the lovely Tahara Mafi. It says Jesse, read on Tahara. In this book, we follow this girl by the name of Alice who goes on this magical adventure to find her father who has gone missing. She must venture out into the world of Furthermore, which is kind of an upside down and twisted world. I'm super excited for this book and I'm definitely interested to kind of see how Tahara does writing a middle grade novel because if you didn't know, this is actually a middle grade book. She started writing it and it was a young adult book, but then it kind of just shaped itself into a middle grade story. So I'm really interested to see how she does writing a middle grade story. Next up, I've got the sequel to An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, and that is A Torch Against the Night. And this book comes out on August 30th. For some reason, I keep calling this book A Scorch Against the Night. I, it just keeps slipping out of my mouth, and that's not the title, but for some reason, it's like ingrained in my mind that it's A Scorch Against the Night, but it's not. I need to stop it. Stop, brain. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I honestly wasn't sure that I was going to get this book at BEA because I had an interview scheduled for when this book was dropping and for when there was going to be a signing, but I was waiting in line for another book and I saw this girl and she had like four copies of A Torch Against the Night in her hands and I was just like, I must go talk to her and see where she got that so maybe I can get it. And I was like, yo girl, where'd you get that? And she was like, I randomly got like a bunch of copies at the breakfast that Saba Tahir was a part of and she's like, do you want a copy? And I'm just like, grabby hands. And so she gave it to me and I didn't catch her name or anything so I can't give her credit. But if you're the girl that gave me this book, God bless you and God bless America. The next book I picked up is Little Nothing by Marissa Silver and this book comes out on September 13th. I will admit when I first saw this book, I solely wanted it because of its cover. This is a beautiful and stunning cover and it's shiny. I'm all about the shiny covers. But then I read the description and I was like, this is like nothing I have ever read before so I've got to check it out. So basically this book takes place in this fictional world and we've got this girl who is born a dwarf and the community that she is born into is super unaccepting of the fact that she is a dwarf which just sounds awful and so they do some magical work on her to try to transform her out of being a dwarf and as you can imagine it probably doesn't go very well. So that's all I know about this story but like I said it just sounds like nothing that I've ever read before so I definitely wanted to pick this up and see if it's something that I might enjoy. Then I got my hands on Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake. I actually tried to read another book 
by Candor Blake, and that is the Anna Dressed in Blood book, and I just couldn't get into it, so I'm hoping that this one is better. This one sounds more up my alley anyways. This title is begging me to sing it in the tune of Three Blind Mice. Three dark crowns, three dark crowns, ah da 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 da. Da, 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 da. So basically, this is the story of three triplets who must fight to become royalty. I'm sold. I don't need to know any more about it. Then I got my hands on Kids of Appetite by David Arnold, and I will admit, I was skeptical picking this one up because I wasn't the biggest fan of Mosquito Land, but I definitely want to give this one a try and see if it's something that I might enjoy. And I'm just going to read you a line from this note that's in the beginning of the book here. It's from the vice president and publisher as well as the editor. This one liner here definitely got me interested to read this book. It says, be a good friend, be a kid of hope and substance, be a kid of appetite. You know what I mean, don't you? And deep within ourselves, yes, we all do. Kids of Appetite brings us back to time when we were hungry for adventure, for independence, and for connection. So I definitely hope that I enjoy this book. Like I said, I had kind of mixed feelings about Mosquito Land, but I'm definitely open to kind of seeing what else David Arnold has to offer. This book comes out September 20th. Next up, I got this Crooked Kingdom sampler, which I wasn't expecting to get this, but Michael gave me his ticket to go see Lee Bardugo, so I was like, hey, I'm not gonna pass up the opportunity to see Queen Bardugo. But yeah, this is just a nice little sampler. I don't think that I will read this before release because I'm just not a fan of reading samplers before the books come out. I would rather just like have it all because if I read this sampler now and then wait till Crooked Kingdoms comes out, I'll have forgotten everything that I read in this sampler. So what's the point here? There is no point. But I did get this sampler signed, which is pretty cool. Then I got The Secret Keepers by Trenton Lee Stewart, and I got this sucker signed. It says, to Jesse, all best, Trenton Lee Stewart. So I kind of just randomly picked this book up. I didn't know anything about it, but then I came home and I was like, Trenton Lee Stewart, that name sounds super familiar. And then it hit me all at once that he wrote The Mysterious Benedict Society, which was a trilogy that I struggled to get into, and I actually ended up handing off to Maureen Keevy. But the thing is, is that I know that his books are well-loved, so I definitely want to give something of his another chance. So I guess I'm gonna give this one a chance. All I know about this story is that this boy comes across a locket, and it gives him the ability to become invisible. Sounds cool to me, I'ma give it a go. And this book comes out on September 27th. Then I got my hands on Replica by Lauren Oliver, and this book comes out on October 4th. It came in this handy dandy package. I would be surprised if you guys haven't heard about this book because it's kind of like one of Harper's biggest titles for the year. Um, but basically, it's two books and one. It can be read two ways, so you can read Lyra's story, and then you can flip it over and read Gemma's story, and the stories meet in the middle kind of a situation. Voila! Book magic! I also got this signed by Lauren. It says, For Jesse, thanks so much for your patience and line. Hope this book is worth it. Give it to me, I'm worth it. T -t 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 then I got a sampler for Tales of the Peculiar, which I didn't know that this was going to be at BEA. I was just wandering around and I heard that Ransom Riggs was signing this and I was like, so what? So I bolted over there, got in line, got a ticket, and I was able to get this sucker. Now, like I said, I'm not a fan of samplers, but this is a beautiful sampler. It's shiny and shimmery. But again, I probably won't read this before release. It's just nice to have this. Also, I got this sign that says, To Jesse, Best Ever, Ransom. Kat and I actually got to go to breakfast with Lainey Taylor, which was a crazy thing. I was just like chilling, having breakfast with Lainey Taylor, just stuffing my mouth with a muffin. And we got these little sampler packages with Strange the Dreamer in it. And we also got these cool little buttons that are in here. I kind of felt bad being at this breakfast because I haven't read any other book by Lainey Taylor. I'm going to read a book by her soon. But it was still kind of fun getting to know her and getting to know more about Strange the Dreamer. Then I got The Sun is Also a a Star by Nicola Yoon. I still have yet to read Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, but it's definitely on my list of books to read. I've heard amazing things about this book, so I am excited to read this one. Basically, in this book, we follow this girl by the name of Natasha, and her family is about to be deported to Jamaica. And we've also got this guy by the name of Daniel, who kind of plays some kind of role in Natasha's life. I'm not really sure what yet. But either way, I am looking forward to reading this book. Also, the cover has a nice texture, so that's a thing. Then I got a copy of My Sister Rosa, by Justine Larbalestier. 
I probably just butchered that pronunciation, but I tried. And I want to say that this book was already released in Australia, and then Soho Teen is bringing it to the States with a spanking new cover. And all I know about this book is that it's a psychological thriller. It's about this guy's little sister who is kind of a psychopath and does all these crazy things. It sounds really creepy, and I definitely want to give it a go. And finally, the last book I got at Book Expo America was History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. This is the story of a boy named Griffin who has OCD. And his first love, Theo, dies in a drowning accident. And I'm not going to go any further than that because I kind of want to go into this book not knowing too much because that's just kind of how I prefer it with Adam's books. But I think throughout this book we go from past to present, kind of a back and forth kind of thing. We see the boy's relationship develop and then we see Griffin with the aftermath of losing his boyfriend and how he deals with that. And I'm sure that this is going to be a book that shatters me because More Happy Than Not just slayed me. So I'm sure that this is going to do the same thing. So those are the books that I got at Book Expo America. America. I held myself back, yet I still ended up with quite a few books. You guys should let me know down below what book sounds the most interesting to you, or which book you think I should read first. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, chew. So I do have a... Okay, we're not. Little bit. Guy whose younger sister is just like a psychopath. All my books just fell over. No!